hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm driving and I'm going to be speaking while I'm driving. Of course, I'm watching the road. But I want to speak about jail. About being in jail. Jail. Just remember that word. You know, I was looking at a young lady on online. This was a young lady that she was kidnapped by a man some years ago, right? And he had, she had been gone like, I want to say about six, seven years with this man. He had her in bondage, locked up. Nobody knew she was there. Very, and I know this story sounds way out there, but that's the way he had her. To make a long story short, even when she could get away to try to escape, she didn't. Because by this time through the years, she was so, at first she was so scared and then she became so brainwashed that even when she could escape, she didn't. Jail. You have, I've had cousins, people that I knew, spent time in jail for years. And then they come out and they're afraid out here. Because in jail, they tell you when to get up, when to eat, when to wash, when, when to do this, when to go to wreck, when to, all this stuff. You have boundaries. But when you go, you, you, you're free out here, you're afraid because no one is telling you how to walk, when to eat, when to shower, when to shower, when to this, when to that. Because of you've been institutionalized. The young lady, she was institutionalized. How many of you are free right now today? And you live behind bars. You live in jail. Behind decisions you've made. Actions you've taken. Whatever it is. You, you, it, you, year after year. Month after month. Week after week. Day after day. You make the same decisions. With no growth in it. Nothing materializing for yourself. Just dryness. Not cultivating anything. Not manifesting nothing in righteousness. And don't even care because somewhere along the way, life just gave, you feel like life just gave you a bad hand. I want to explain something to you. I used to be that person. That's why I would run to addiction. And all that does when we bound ourselves, that's jail. I don't care if you 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 do drugs, I don't care if you just not making a better life for yourself, you make throwed off decisions, whatever it is, whatever whatever your living condition is, you choose to live in bondage. You you we choose to live in jail when there's an outlet. It reminds me when I put my dog in a cage from time to time. Half the time, I don't even lock it. It's half the door is halfway open. Just because she's in a cage, she automatically thinks she can't get out. When all she got to do is nudge the door because the crack is there and get on out. It's, it, it, it's, it's a psychological imbalance that we place on ourselves. Too much time has passed by. Uh, I can't make nothing of myself. I'm just going to live mediocre. I'm just going to live and all we've, all we've done tomorrow, is existence. Keep left onto Gulf Freeway. Excuse me for my GPS. I'm talking to you with all sincerity. Don't live a life where when you look back and you see nothing that you've accomplished. You see no goals. All you ever did was talk. You was a big dreamer. If you dreamed. Or you just gave up. Christ didn't got, die for you to give up. Christ didn't die for you to have broken dreams. Dreams, things you've never accomplished. He died so that you can live. And live an abundant life in every area of your life. Nobody grows up to say, I want to be nothing in life. I want to I, I, I be an addict. I want to be an alcoholic. 
I want to be things that's not even the nature of God that he created in his image and likeness for you to be. Find yourself again. Find your purpose. Find your plan. Ask God to renew a right spirit within you. Clean you up. Will it take work? Yes. See, when you ever want to come out and to be something, it's good to put blood, sweat, and tears in it because you earn in your living. You earn in to become. It's easy to get in trouble. It takes no effort to get in trouble. You just go do the wrong thing. But it's hard to get out of because we don't think about what we do until the consequences hit us. The enemy never show you the consequences. <laughs> this is why he's sly and cunning. I want to see you live again. Live again. Stretch forth your vision again. Ask God to help you deliver yourself from yourself. Whatever broke you, whatever hurt you, whatever healing you need, that's what Christ died for. Stop self-sabotaging you and find your purpose again. Ask God to breathe on it. And I promise you he will. I used to be there. I thank God for restoration and recovery and for remembering me. He remembers you. Don't ever let the enemy lie to you and say you're nothing because you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Breathe again. Step into the life and the purpose 